I'm Arlie Sulka, and I'm the owner of Lillian Nassau LLC from New York City. We've been in business since 1945, and we're very pleased to be exhibiting at the Delaware Antique Show. This is our second year here, and we are just thrilled to be back. We have brought a wonderful selection of Tiffany Studios lamps, glass, metalwork and other fancy goods made by Tiffany Studios in the early part of the 20th century. We can show you uh, this beautiful signature dragonfly lamp, table lamp. This is a cocktail base, highly desirable for Tiffany collectors, and a stunning example of the Tiffany Studios Dragonfly shade, which is an iconic shade for Tiffany Studios. This one is particularly fine because of the selection of the glass. It's highly prized because of the purple and blue background. The combination of the shade and this base makes this a stunning example of Tiffany Studios and probably the creme de la creme. This bird lamp is something that you would not see every day. In fact, it's one of three that were made or that are, that are known to this day. This is the best example I've seen with the perfect selection of Tiffany glass and its pairing with its original base. And one of the great ways we can tell that it is the original base is how beautifully snug the shade fits into the three arms. Also, this lamp was so early, this dates from about 1902, that it has one of the earliest heat caps, which I'm going to take out at great risk to my fingers. And what I'm going to show you is that the edges are made up of these flanges. This later evolved into a smoother edge, but at this point, Tiffany Studios, they didn't know exactly how they were going to handle the heat cap because it was such an early part of the lamp. This is a very unusual piece and it may be the only one known. There are two very similar examples that were shown um, in the living hall at Laurelton Hall, which was Tiffany's palatial home in Oyster Bay, Long Island. And now those two examples are in, perma on the, in the permanent collection of the Morse Museum in Winter Park, Florida. This, however, was shown in a photograph, a period photograph, of the metal showroom at Tiffany Studios, and it is featured in um, a pamphlet that was distributed in 1913. Uh, this is the only one that exists it, that has this particular configuration in the leading lower part of the shade. It's made of um, leaded glass turtleback glass. That's what these are here. These are turtleback glass pieces wow, and very highly sought after by Tiffany collectors.